So I've decided I'm just going to say all the things on my mind because I've already started my, you know, unfortunate, super emotional video blog of previously. So I'm just going to continue with this pattern and yeah, um, you should never ever say that things can't get worse because they will. Um, yeah, sometimes way worse than you think that it's possible for them to be. And then you're just kind of like, oh, excellent. I'm, oh, the ash is on my face. I guess I mean nothing. Cool. I'm fucking 37 years old. I will be 38 the end of next month. And I just had my ex-boyfriend of one day show up at a big ass function at my town where everybody goes and all our friends were um, with a date after leaving me sobbing um, the day previous. Yeah, super great. I really wish I could be polyamorous and just be like, oh, whatever, man. Like, that person will give you what I don't or something. But I I don't get down with the poly stuff. I have lots of friends who are poly, and I'm like, you know, get in where you fit in. Good for you. But I would cut someone. It would be really bad. Like, I've tried to love more than one person at a time, and it doesn't work for me. So, yeah. So now I'm just... Fucking heartbroken. Like, really, really intensely. Because my ex had been saying, you know, we're just working on ourselves. Because, you know, honestly, I have anxiety and CPTSD that I didn't even know I had until I was triggered by the things that my now ex was doing. Like, oh, you're acting just like my kid's horrible father. I'm having fucking panic attacks because of the way that you're treating me. But every time I've tried to tell him about any kind of trigger or any kind of anything, it was just like, oh, you're attacking me. And I'm pretty notorious for just always being brutally fucking honest. Like, I really don't know how not to be. Like, I try to lie about something, and my face goes all funny, and I can't make eye contact, and it's just, it's not a thing that I'm good at. And my whole life, I've been freaking people out because I'm honest with myself about who I am and what I'm doing. And, I mean, I know I'm not honest with myself all the time. Everyone has moments of fucking weakness, and I completely re admit and respect the fact that I have had mine, but... I feel like I just wasted two and a half years of my life. And I know it wasn't a waste because it was a lesson because Lord knows somebody's going to have to be really motherfucking impressive to get into my life. My kid says he was a dick or said he was a dick way before I realized he was being such a dick. And it wasn't that I wasn't listening to my kid. It was just that I was like, oh, well, their dynamic is different because my son had known this man for since he was five. Yeah, fucking 11 and a half years of friendship, two and a half years of relationship. That obviously didn't mean to him what they meant to me. And... <sighs> I'm just trying really hard to not cry all the time, and I really want my stomach to stop feeling like there's a foot in it, and it would be cool if my chest would stop hurting, too. That'd be nice. I wish I could drink, because I would just get fucking housed for days. That wouldn't be helpful, either. And... 
And yeah. I'm sure I'll be doing more of these. Every time I've been trying to fucking write, my hand cramps up and my body cramps up because I'm so like, oh, having so many feelings. Sucks. Hmm. It's not ashes. Mm. <sighs> this is really, really fucking painful and... I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. A day after leaving me sobbing. In fact, I'm certain that he had this date planned before he delivered the final speech. Which just makes it suck even more. But someone will appreciate me someday. I just have to keep holding on to that. Like, I'm fucking awesome. Everything will be great. Someday there will be a dude that won't be intimidated by me. Someday there will be a dude that maybe makes me feel like my dream lover did. Perhaps. I feel like it's completely unfair when you meet someone that, like, answers, is, like, positively, absolutely every single thing you could want. And that you dreamt of them before you met them. And you meet them in real life. And then they go back across the country to their lives and get married and... I'm very happy for him, but it sucks to know that people like that exist, but they don't exist around here. And then I dated my best friend because I thought that that would be a good idea because I didn't know that he has some really super deep demons and those super deep demons fought like fuck with my demons and it was really bad. And the most hurtful fucking thing is that he feels like I never listened to him. Like I didn't care about his feelings. Like I didn't value his opinions. <sighs> yeah. And now I just have these permanent bags under my eyes. Looks really good. It's just so nice. Uh... I love my freckles. I do not love these bags under my eyes. I do not like this fucking sick feeling in my guts. And I'm really fucking sad that I lost my friend. Because we will not be friends after this. I don't ever want to fucking see him again. But unfortunately, he's my best friend. So, of course, he's... Or, he's not... He was my best friend, so he's friends with all of my other really close friends. And I'm probably going to have to run into him all the time. I know I'm going to have to run into him at a wedding in two weeks. <laughs> Originally, of course, we were going to be each other's dates. I feel so fucking broken and disregarded, and I've been feeling this way for a long time, but I was being told that, you know, it was just my anxiety and my worries were unfounded, and and then the day after, you, what the fuck ever. Men are trash. I'm tired of investing myself emotionally in someone who isn't capable of returning that same investment. And the next person that I put my time into is going to have to make a really concentrated effort for me to want to do that. Because I'm fucking done. I'm so hurt. <sighs> 